Syria's civil war is still raging, but beyond its borders, many are becoming desensitized to the conflict and its violence. In some Syrian cities, dozens of people are killed every day. In light of this crisis, the Vatican is doubling its efforts to help victims. During a recent meeting in Rome, Catholic organizations who work out on the ground discuss new strategies to increase support. The biggest challenge is the war itself. When there's shootings and crossfire, humanitarian efforts are limited because workers have to risk their lives to help out. Sometimes the challenge is a mere lack of goodwill from different groups. 25 Catholic charitable organizations are helping refugees in neighboring countries and also Syrians who still live in the country. The help is given to all, regardless of religious beliefs. When, the, 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 uh, when militants from the opposition wanted to get out of the city of Homs, they asked, what guarantee do we have? You see, neither side trusted one another, so a Catholic priest decided to ride the bus with the militants as their guarantee. It was a way to get back the city. It was a way to get the city back in order and back to its people. The old city of Homs is mainly inhabited by Christian families. The role of the Christians in the Middle East has always served as bridges between different people who are in conflict. It's estimated that about 2 million refugees have gone to neighboring countries like Lebanon. Roughly 10,000 people cross the border every day to escape the violence and instability. As the war continues, church groups are looking at the bigger picture, including the sale of weapons in these conflict-ridden areas. We want peace. We can't sell arms at the same time. And as often in uh, this type of wars, you know, civil war, wars within countries, it's the international interests or vested interests from abroad that entertain the war and civilian population are the victims. They are for nothing in that, but they are the ones to die and suffer. The Pope has been very vocal about his opposition to the war in Syria and its rippling effects on the Middle East. He warns about a sense of indifference where the world can get used to the war, a war that, according to the Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, has claimed the lives of more than 160,000 people.